Yesterday was the first blue day we've had in a month. Ah! Someone <laughs> landed something. It was so sick. I was you like, were in the oh. air forever. We went north of Whistler. Everyone landed a couple things. Everyone went home satisfied, and it was just fun to get out and feel the sun again. Well, good day, brother. Nothing like a little R&R &R to ease his mind. You ever even catch anything? Well, we're not waiting around all year to find out. Clouds are parting tomorrow. Looks like it's time to get back at it. Welcome to Whistler. The land of snow junkies, poutine, and some darn nice folk. I never seen so much snow. No wonder all these bums come up here to live in a van and ride the best terrain they ever seen. <laughs> I'm talking to one of them right now. So, who we gonna crew up with? Heard they got this gang up here called the Man Boys. Hey, I remember this crusty creature. He used to ride with him back in the forum days, right? <laughs> yeah, Rusty Ockenwood. One of the best backcountry riders out there today. Then we got Matt Belzer. He's a casual cat, kind of a sleeper, until he steps up to the plate. Blow your mind with the smoothest of style. One of my faves, backcountry Joe. It ain't easy working on double corks and stand-up comedy at the same time. He's a metal wizard, too. He'll take us all out in the streets. Been a blood since 92. Then we got Chris Rasmus. Heard he's the Canadian Travis Rice. He likes to go big and land on his feet. And recently adopted in the crew, your beloved bro, EJ. Fits right in with the gang. Operates like a boy with a beard that'll put his face on America's next $1,000 bill. Yep, we're gonna have a good time up here. Oh yeah, I remember this. Coming up to Whistler and sitting in the clouds. No wonder these guys are such good comedians. Well, we better go out anyways. Can't party in Lot 5 all month. Shoot this thing. This ain't worth a blown knee. Good start, boys. But it's gonna get a lot better in the next few days. Looks like Rusty found a little extra lunch for today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, detective? What kind of tracks are in there? It doesn't have canines and it's got horns, which means it's a stegosaurus because it has a spine thing. Here we go, brother. This is a first class ticket to the Powder Highway. I know this ain't the norm, brother, but I gotta say, this is pretty fun partying down in the backcountry with a massive crew.
Someone <laughs> landed something. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, what a paradise. Looks like there's a feature to hit on every one of these ridges. All you gotta do is get creative. This is why we do this every day. But when we actually find something that accommodates the physics to make it work, it's a pretty special thing. Especially if no one's hit before. Holy smokes, that was large! Hot 
Damn. I think that even rung my bell. Well, that's the price of these massive features. More violence, more risk, more reward. Get back up there, brother. You gotta get one off this beast. <laughs> nice and dirty, just how we like it. Can you feel it? Me too. I think it's time to turn the wheels up again, brother. Question is, where are we going? Alaska? Yeah, boys! We're going to Alaska! I knew it. Something told me. Bring that whiskey out today. That jump was badass. Get up, get up. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. 